Now we're going to walk through creating a service request to the City of Mesa, Arizona using the My Mesa AZ Citizen Reporting Application brought to you by AppOrder.com. On launch, I'll be greeted, greeted with a welcome message or a notification, in this case the indication that the app is not to be used to report emergencies or while driving. I'll accept the message and move on to the home screen where I have a number of options including the ability to navigate to Mesa City Plaza using my browser or Google Maps, calling the city's main line by touching the number to launch my dialer, or composing an email message to the city's main informational email address. I'll move over to the About tab to get some overview information on city services, things to do, and business resources in the city of Mesa. On the Council tab, I'll have some overview information about the Council's strategic plan. I can click on a category for more detailed information. I can move on to view contact information and to compose an email message to Mayor Scott Smith or any of the Council members. And I also have additional city resources. I can call the City Council main line, email the Council, or view an interactive city map. On the Contact tab, I can contact and view overview information on city departments, touch to dial, or compose an email message depending on the nature of the primary contact for the department. And when I'm ready to submit a report or report an issue to the city, I'll click on the Report tab. For urgent street issues, I'm prompted to call the Transportation Department by clicking on the number. Or for non-emergencies, maintenance, nuisance issues, and basic repairs, I'm going to create a service request by launching the Report Utility. In this case, I'm going to select an issue type of streets and transportation with an issue to report of sidewalk defect and a description of other. I'll take a photo for easy description of the issue, enter a title, and provide either a 10 second audio note or a detailed text description of the issue I'm reporting. The, phone, the phone's GPS will automatically capture my location, which we can use to generate a numerical street address. I can drag the map if I want to find the nearest cross-section for issues that aren't at an identifiable address. Or, if I don't have GPS service and can't reach my map, I can enter a street address manually when I know where I am. Or I can enter the nearest cross street of my current location. I can report anonymously by leaving these fields blank or by deleting my information. It will remember my information, so next time I report an issue, I won't have to enter it twice. In this case, I want to receive notifications on the status of my issue, uh, both by text message and by email. So I'm going to enter my email address and my phone number. And before I submit the issue to the city, I'm going to review my report and make sure all of my information is complete and correct. And when I'm satisfied, I'm going to submit it to the city and let them do the rest. I receive a confirmation uh, notice that the issue has been submitted and once it has been completed I'll receive a text message or an email confirmation. Managing the work orders is simple for city officials and staff members. I'll simply log in using my credentials 
at which point I can view a list of existing work orders. See my issue that I just submitted right here. I'll view the details, including issue type, sidewalk defect, description, all photos. I can click for more detail. I can view the location on an interactive map. And I can view reporter information on the citizen who brought the issue to our attention. I can also edit the case. I can change the category if the issue doesn't quite fit. I can update the, dre the address and the GPS coordinates. And save my changes. In the event that I need to reassign to a, another department or an outside agency, I can select one from my drop down list. I can notify the individual or department by email or text message and include a note. And back in the list. I will see that my reassign is completed. It is assigned to the app order administ administer, administrator. And I can view snapshot information as well as case status. If the work order needs to be, is not within our jurisdiction, I can reject it or refer it to an outside agency. And once complete, I will close the case and include either a standard or custom message. To the reporter of the issue. And once I do so, the case will be closed and an email and or text message notification will be sent to the citizen who reported the issue in real time. Once my issue has been completed, I'll receive a text message including the body of the note that was entered when the case was closed. I, my subject is 4100, my work order number, and the message is key, the keyboard has been removed from the sidewalk. Thank you, City of Mesa.